Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful holiday weekend. Um, if you'll notice in my opening screen there, it says, not as angels in the Utubian galaxy. Because this case has took us way beyond YouTube streets. I'm telling you, we're way out in the damn galaxy now. The YouTubian galaxy. Now, before we get started, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell, guys, so you're notified when I put new videos out. We're going to be discussing a video that I did the other day. Um, you know, the one that says, Summer Wells, Ronnie, why did Candace have to go stay with somebody else with the boys? I want to go over and answer a few of those questions. There's been a few people who... Either they didn't understand why or what I was asking, or they just didn't care, or there was a couple that actually just wanted to answer the questions for me. Like, I'm not intelligent enough to have the answers. If you look on your screen, guys, I can look on YouTube. I do have connections. I do have people I can call and get answers to any legal questions I may have, okay? Trust me. I'm not ignorant to the laws in the state of Tennessee, by no means. And is what I don't know, I can get the answer to. Nine times out of ten, if I'm asking a question and it sounds like a stupid question, then more than likely it's called a rhetorical question. Hope you all understood that. Rhetorical. The meaning of rhetorical, or one of the meanings, is, as in a question, ask in order to produce an effect or to make a statement rather than to elicit information. So, all those questions I asked on that video the other day are rhetorical, okay? Now, I was going to go through and answer each and every one of those questions, read the questions out and answer them, but I believe that's going to take just quite a little bit of time. So, I'm not going to do that because, that, I mean, in my opinion, it would be boring. I will state that they did not take Dawn and Candace away from the house and the boys to in the beginning because at that point in time, they still thought they were dealing with a child who had wandered away or was abducted, possibly. Um, the second question is, why did they allow Grandis to leave the state? Well, legally, no, they can't stop her. But had they at that point, because that was a few weeks in before she ever left, had they have went to a judge, they could have gotten an injunction to make her stay until they got something decided about Summer or figured out what had happened, which I guess, now looking back, they 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 might as well have left, let her leave just like they did because it's a year, 13 months down the road, they still haven't figured anything out. So, I mean, they she could have been, you know, stuck on that hill for the rest of her life. Um, why did they allow Dawn and Candace to go on YouTube and turn this into some kind of reality show? And again, had they have realized, well, not realized, had they have used their brains, they would have realized what would have happened with Dawn and Candace going on all these TV shows and this YouTube. And after, if they're supposed to be monitoring social media and YouTube about this case, then they would have already seen how Don and Candace were acting. And once again, they could have went and got an injunction to have stopped it like a gag order, to have stopped them from getting on there and basically turning this case into a travesty. Um, the next one would be, um, why'd they let Don and Candace leave the state? That I can't answer. They should not have, I don't think. That was four or five months into the case. They already knew at that time she didn't wander off. I don't know why they allowed them to leave the state. They should not have. Once again, they could have went and got an order from a judge and, and put a stop to it. The next question was the, the title of the video, which is, Ronnie, why did Candace have to take the boys and go to someone's else house, someone else's house and stay any time that Don Wells was at home? Now, while he was at work during the day, or, or I'm assuming when there were other people around, Everything was kosher, but 
at night when Don and Candace and the boys were the only ones there, she had to go somewhere else and stay with the boys. They were not allowed to stay at the house with Don Wells. I was told this morning that it was because of the DV. But you've got to understand this evidently was going on from the time Summer got gone till they got put in foster care. What, how bad was it that Don was, you know, committing DV? I mean, was it from the get-go? And if it was from the get-go while officers were there, why didn't they take Don Wells in? Why didn't they arrest him for the DV? Why allow the, the kids to remain there or Candace to remain there and have to go somewhere else and sleep at night to somebody's house they didn't even like? just to not arrest Don Wells for the DV, if that was the true reason. The next question on there was, why the hush-hush about the reward money? I mean, there's videos that show way back when the actual reward account was set up through the rescue, or through the Churchill Rescue Squad and through Civis Banks, it was said back then it was supposed to go to the Children's Advocacy Center. So why now are they having to go through the court to decide where the money goes? Why could they not be transparent about how much money is in there? Why could they not be transparent about what court they were going to? I can't answer that one. If you know the answer to that one, please let me know. The next question, I, I know the answer to the next one, and that was, where did Don and Candace take their polygraph tests at? Was it in Hawkins County? No, it was not. Was it in a more secure facility? Yes, it was. And I can tell you it wasn't by the TBI. Now, I'm not going to say much more than that. I will, if things work out come Friday, I will let it be known what I know about all of this. I'd also like to ask Ronnie Lawson, you have all these ex- um, retired detectives, investigators that have worked on all these bigger cases in larger cities. They've worked on way more cases like this than you have ever worked, Ronnie. Why did you not take five minutes and, and take their advice or listen to what they were having to say? Obviously, they're more experienced in these types of cases than you are. So why not take their advice? Why not listen to their expertise? It would not have hurt you. I, I mean, I'm just asking, is it the little man syndrome, maybe? I, I'm just asking. Another question was, when you heard Don Wells say three days after his daughter gets gone that he will see her in the resurrection, why did that not throw up some red flags to you? I mean... I can't answer that one. Only Ronnie Lawson can answer that one because only that is in his own mind. Why he did not find it suspicious that Don Wells is saying he's going to find it or see his daughter in the resurrection three days after she gets gone. Okay, and another question I have, and this one I've been asking from the beginning. You have all these people up there, including Don himself, telling you about all these drug dealers. Yes, yes, Ronnie, I know. 10, 11 years ago, you busted all the drug dealers in Hawkins County. They're all gone, all the bad. No, Don Wells, everybody up there talks about how much drugs are up there, how many drugs are being sold up there, how many people are going up there and getting drugs, buying them, whatever. And it's more than, than Don that was talking about. I believe Frank, or Frank Hill talked about it. Um, Jody Sue has talked about it. I believe even in the past, Andy has said something about it. Why, with all these people admitting that they're selling drugs or buying drugs or whatever's going on, have you all not went up there and rounded up the bunch of them and took them in and charged them? I, just a question. I don't have the answer for that one either, folks. So if y'all know, please tell me. And don't tell me because you can't arrest somebody on hearsay. I do believe if I walked into a police station and said, hey, I just saw somebody get pew-pewed down the street, an officer would actually go and check it out. 
So why don't they go and check it out? At least. Just saying. And then we get back to the, and I'm not talking about Donwell's sisters, okay, folks? I'm not speaking of 40 years ago. I'm talking about in the past couple of years. There has been recently people say that Don has touched a small girl. Flat out said that they, she was touched. She says that she was touched. Now, one of two things. Why has Don not been charged on that, or at least it been investigated? And or why has the guardian of that child not been taken in for not reporting such abuse? Don't have a question. I mean, I don't have an answer for that one either. If you all do have an answer, I'd like to hear that one. Because to me, that is just wrong. Um, since then, you have had people accuse Don and Candace of red rumming. And people, for the people who don't know what red rum is, write it down on a piece of paper, spell it backwards, start with the M, and you'll understand what red rum is. It comes from the movie The Shining. If you look at what's written on the door in that movie in a mirror, you'll understand. Um, anyways, that they have been they were accusing that red rum had happened to Summer on that property. Why has that not been looked into? Why have those people not been taken in and questioned and say, okay, how how much validity do does this statement have? Why not take these statements serious? From every lie, there is some truth, guys. There's always some truth from every lie that is told. And then again, we go back to the tales of drug dealers and drug makers and people who are selling the drugs up there and, and going up there and getting them and now we have Jody Sue Brown coming out and making the accusations that she made towards her ex-husband, which, in my opinion, is fabricated. It was done out of malice because she was mad at her ex. But that being said, why has law enforcement... Ronnie Lawson, or any one of his good deputies not went up there and picked up Jody Sue and picked up Andy and took them both in for questioning, which is totally within the law, and tried to determine who's telling the truth and who is not. Because like I said, in every lie, there is some truth. Now, plain and simple. If Jody Sue was telling any part of the truth, then Andy needs to be questioned, interrogated, find out why he was doing this, and Candace needs to be picked up and questioned and interrogated as far as all of that is concerned. Also, if, if Jody Sue is telling a lie, then Jody Sue needs to be charged with impeding an investigation. But guess what, guys? They will never know unless they pick them up and take them in and question them. They can't just say, oh, well, I've known them for years, guys. And that crazy old Jody Sue, she'll just say anything. Or, oh, Andy's just a good old boy. He wouldn't do nothing like that. You don't know what people will or will not do. And as law enforcement officers, they need to pick these two people up, both of them, not just one and take them in and find out what is the truth and what is a lie. I didn't say throw them under the jail. I said pick them up, take them in, and question them and find out what part's the truth and what part is a lie. And either way it goes, one or the other needs to be charged. Because if Jody Sue's telling the truth, Andy needs to be charged. If Jody Sue's lying, then Jody Sue needs to be charged. And, and then we get to last but not least, plain and simple, Ronnie Lawson, if you and your good deputies that work under you aren't 
going to do your job as in any of these questions that I've asked, or at least this very last one, why not turn it over to a bigger agency? And if the TBI being the bigger agency can't or won't do their job, then let's go on up the ladder. Call in TBI for full time on this case, not just when needed. Because obviously TBI need, I mean FBI needs is needed full time on this case because evidently nobody else is getting anywhere. With Dylan Round's case, they were called in with before a month was even up. He went missing on the twenty last time he was heard from was the twenty eighth of May. Reported missing on the thirtieth of May. By the 16th of June, FBI took over the case. It has now been 13 months since Summer went missing. Why hasn't TBI stepped in and took over this case? Because obviously nobody else is getting anywhere with it. And that is not a rhetorical question. That is a flat out question I would like an answer to. And if somebody can tell me the answer, I promise I won't get upset. I love you forever. Sorry it was so long, guys. Remember, a lot of times when I ask something that sounds silly or stupid or not too intelligent, I'm probably asking it as a rhetorical question, okay? It doesn't call for you all to try to tell me what the laws are or are not. If you would just think about it, you might understand why I'm asking. Say your prayers. Tell your kids you love them. Hug your parents. And be good, guys. Until next time.